my dad, who's coming up and managing, you know, managed years in the minors, now managing the big leagues, but he, uh, he was managing the Chattanooga Lookouts in Double A, and I was probably about three years old. And you know, minor league baseball, I was, you know, I was just a kid, but you got, I got so used to the routine of, you know, go out to the car, you know, with mom after the game's over. I knew right where to meet mom at the car and where dad was going to be after the game. So I got so used to that routine. But what I didn't know at that time was there was a doubleheader that day. So three years old, first game ends, and I just got up from my seat, walked up the stairs, and walked out to the car, thinking mom and my my other brother were going to be right there behind me, and stood there at the car and for. From the time that game in until the other game was about 30 minutes, I was completely lost. My mom was in a panic, had gone down to the dugout to tell my dad, your son's missing, and they had people, maintenance people, and all kinds of uh, front office people looking for me. And about 30 minutes went by, the second game was getting ready to get started. And I guess uh, somebody from the maintenance or front office walked out to the parking lot and brought me back to my mom and said he was standing right by the door of your car waiting to go home. So um, that was a pretty funny story from, uh, from my years as a, as a toddler being around the game uh, all that time. You know, I've played minor league baseball now for seven years, and um, just to give people a good feel of, you know, what di how things are different in minor league baseball. We don't have covered parking or anything like, you know, you go to the big leagues, you get to park underneath the stadium, you have a nice tunnel, everything, your car is protected. Well, uh, I was in Oklahoma City uh, playing, and this is in 2010. I was in my first year of uh, AAA baseball, and we were told that our game was under a delay. Uh, there was a huge storm. Anybody who's been to Oklahoma City knows the, the storms and the things that can have hail and different things that go through there. It's unbelievable. But we had been under a delay, and they told us the game's not going to start on time. Uh, and there's a good chance it was going to get canceled, but we had to stick around for a while. And anybody that's played minor league ball knows that, you know, big storm guys will you know be in their sandals, kind of like I am right now, just go sit in the dugout and watch the storm move through and just kind of see what happens. Well, we all, you know, almost the whole team was sitting in the dugout. And, there's probably you know a half dozen to a dozen wives that were there, so half our cars were at the apartment, you know, five miles away. But uh, all of us just sitting there waiting for the storm to come in. About five minutes before it hits, somebody in the dugout's like, "Hey man, like our cars are out in the parking lot. Like what are we gonna do?" And everybody just went into a complete panic, ran inside. By the time they got their keys, the, the, the torrential downpour started. Little hail's moving in, and guys are just on a dead sprint out of the stadium trying to get to their cars and get them started and move them across the street to the hotel parking lot where they can get it underneath cover. So those guys survived. The rest of us went home that night to find uh, my car personally was totaled. I had an 04 Jeep Grand Cherokee was completely totaled with tennis ball sized hail. And it was funny because I was actually looking to trade it in before that and blue book value wasn't very good on it. Um, after that storm hit I actually got more from the insurance than I thought I was going to get traded in so it actually worked out pretty well for me. But. That's a pretty cool uh, minor league story and things like that, or you know, little things like that where you just take for granted, like you just don't realize, oh, our cars aren't protected, go out, got to go out there and get them. So those are two cool stories that uh, I thought uh, people would enjoy about minor league baseball.